one and all. It is a pleasure to have you here at Mason Hall. Practicing water conservation is good for one and all. Wasting water is not good at all, at all, at all. Jagge Bo, Mr. Fiddler. people like fish yes and we just use it in almost every dish with vegetables like pak choy and lettuce and that is why our project title is aquaponics water conservation is essential for survival and to this we agree with no denial we use the water from the fish to fertilize our lettuce Let me explain the aquaponics apparatus. Make sure all you stay conscious because if you miss any information, all you will get cut. We build a trough to plant the crop. With pipes and silicone, we stick it up. A tank we use to house the fish so the plants will be irrigated and surely nourished. Oh, ha, ha. This project was a lot of work. If you see we girls in action, you would a real shock cutting up two by four, many pipes and old drums. But we had real fun in the hot, hot, hot sun. Blood, sweat and tears to carry gravel to the drum. Man, if you see we girls hand, it meant turn real numb. Combining the materials was not to be done by girls, but we are young strong and we fulfilled our role. Where is the source of water for this project? Well, no. The water is flowing into the fish tank, right? Uh, but into the, um, the filter, it has the filter here. And the filter filters the water. And it comes, it comes along in the tub and in these pipes it has small holes. Right, so as it flows, it starts to drop and it irrigates the plant. When that happens, when the when the pit moss is saturated enough, the water comes through the pipe and then it comes into the pit. How much water have you conserved by using this system as compared to the traditional system? We have um, actually conserved 100 percent because if you look across there, this is the constant. Right? And the same amount of water that it has here is the same amount of water that we use for the fish. And what was the budget like for the project? Seed money that was given to us. We didn't have no need to continue raising fun or nothing. That was just enough. Because most things were recycled. What provoked you all, if I may use that word, to decide to go down that road to introduce the project to the judges? Well, our school is known for speech band because we enter a lot of competitions and so we are always winners when we get these cultural forms, right? Because Tobago is known for speech ban. That way I wouldn't know about it much in Trinidad because it's from Tobago. And so our schools take part in these competitions each year and we are always winners. So that is why we choose to use our talents, what we are good at, to present this. How you all find your experience being on national TV? It was, was a small community. Well, it was frightening sometimes. You are like, feel a little shy to talk, like I am right now. <laughs> but <laughs> at the end of it all, you feel good. Yeah. So people recognize you all in the streets. Yeah, yeah everyone saying, I saw you on yes, TV. Yes, yes, yes. I really <laughs> take that as a, a real good experience, you know, to meet people like the man who on first stop, oh, yes. 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 yes, I was happy to meet him and I just like to talk so I really enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which team you all believe is your biggest competitor in the competition right now? Because no, it, it overall, oh. Trinidad and Tobago. Gasparillo girls. Yes. Gasparilla. And before it, yeah. before Gasparillo girls come, went up to the top, it had this team from Trinidad, Water most Prime. One minute we in front, then them pass it back. Then we pass them back, then them come <laughs> yeah. back and pass it back. So that was the battle with Watermost Prime. 